Hello, I'm MSI. Can you hold that for me for a second? I'm just taking a drink quickly. One second. Sorry, I was making sure my throat's not dry. No worries. Hi, Sven. Nice to see you, man. I've got a first. Qu Sorry, I've got a first question for you. Um, so you got into a little bit of an altercation with Yeon uh, a couple of months ago, where uh, you know some things happened, and uh, it's safe to say you're at this event. He's not. Was that the first time you realised that karma was viable in this matter? <laughs> um, no, I think I realised before this year that karma was viable. Yeah. But um, you know, I, I did use it there. I think he actually might be around. We scream against the L during this event, so mm. they're boot camping in the EU, I think. So bro thinks he's on the team. Yeah, he really does, huh? Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, we settled outside, you know, one v one, fist fight to the death, and uh, I came out on top, obviously. So that's it. That's what we love to hear. Um, you actually uh, you won 20 grand playing Champions Q, Q last year. A lot of people consider playing North American solo queue a punishment. What was it like getting rewarded for it? It felt like finally there was a purpose to playing it, so that was nice by Riot Games to, you know, give me some of my, my efforts, you know, trying to make the server better again, trying to make North America great again. Um, but now Champs is kind of dead these days, so it's kind of fucked up, if you know what I'm saying. That's good to hear. We actually have a present for you, Mr. Sven. Obviously, some bad things have happened today. That's needless to say, but we want to give you a happy birthday card. Congratulations. Happy birthday. The, the, obviously, the thing is, we're not going to see you in June when your actual birthday is, so we thought we'd give you this now. If you'd like to read, read what's in it. Yeah, you can trade if you'd like. Get the cucumber back. Happy birthday. Sorry you got three zeros. <laughs> You'll be the biggest winner in the loser's bracket. Hashtag ruddy up. Ruddy up, yeah. That is the, that's a, a team that we run. We, we play in the RL. Like, you know how you guys have academy? Yeah. And like, no one wants to play in it and they're shying it all down. Yep. Like in Europe, I mean, you, you're from Europe, you know that we yeah. do things better. Yeah, I know how things work here. You know? yeah. I think the URL is a pretty good addition to the, the system, the ecosystem in, in, yeah. in, in, in the EU. So. Um, we know that you criticize your manager for having one job and one job only, which is to make the scrim lobby. Um, and he's not able to do that. Uh, would you like to highlight anyone else that's uh, stealing checks in the industry? Give me a moment. This is where we add like a ticking thing and post the edit, you see. Like a fucking, yeah. Yeah, zillion clock or something. That's good. Write it down. Write it down. I mean, <laughs> fucking give me that shit. There's a lot of, right, you know, okay. paycheck junkers in the, yeah. in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, anywhere from like the whole sports psychologists. Yeah, bro, I'm a sports psychologist. So here, guys, yeah, you just, you know, you just, your elbows. just meditate a bit here, bros, and then you're going to be good, good, good to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's 100k to you. Good job, man. Yeah, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that. Agree with you. Give me that. All right. right now. Just, you know, chill, bro. It's fine. We're cool. That's my guy right there. I don't like how much bigger his fist is than mine. That's just, I don't like that at all. It's, I feel like if it really came down to it, like a zombie apocalypse, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't get out of this room. Why not? Well, maybe you'd help me. I don't know. It depends. I don't know why I just view you as being aggressive. I think it's because you're an Eddie Carry player, or were an Eddie Carry player, before you became, you know, washed up. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going for it. No. Yeah, I know. It's my bad. Uh, on Cloud9, you've got an Australian, a Korean, and a Dane. Apart from sounding like the beginning to a bad joke, what do you think about that lineup? As a wise man once told me, most American teams consist of two Koreans and what? A European. And a sports psychologist. Two Koreans, three NPCs. That's us. Are you the NPC? What would your I'm question... Korean, bro. Yeah, I know. No, I'm not. Exactly. So what's your, what's your quest line? My quest line? Mm. Mm. Give me some NPC dialogue right now. Set me on a quest. We'll add some Skyrim music in. What's, what's Skyrim music? Skyrim. You know the... Oh, Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Bad pronunciation. I'm more of a wild guy. Yeah. But I'm guessing I would take a, tell you a quest... I'm doing the music. Okay, what's your name? Jake. Okay. Hello, Jake. Fuck, I'm not good at this, man. I'm not, a, I'm not really a role play enjoyer, you know? Yeah. So, this is not really my, my forte. Prefer to do your role play by pretending you're going to win the series when you're actually playing. When I said yes to the interview, I didn't think I was going to get shit on by some fucking randoms. <laughs>
<laughs> That's the first time I've been called a. You think it's just fucking one zero here? It's the first time we've been called a random here. I've, this is what I've been waiting for here. This is the fucking EU mentality. Let's yeah. fucking go. Fucking Let's fucking go. Mr. Interviewer Kent, remember his questions? Yeah, you know, these things happen. Yeah. So we actually ran a fan contest okay. to get a fan to call in and ask you some questions. We don't actually have any fans, so my mum actually ended up winning it. Would you be willing to take some questions from my mum? Yeah. Hit me. I mean, cool. Your mum and I are already explaining it. So oh, are you? So no, that's no, great. No worries. <laughs> well, be nice. <laughs> One second. Just call her. She'll pick up. Surely. Cue the music. There you go. Oh, hey. <laughs> He's got a recipe for you. Oh, yeah? Nice. Not bad. Can you hold this? It needs to be hot. On the phone? Hi, Mum. Yeah. Hi, Mum. How are you? I'm good. I'm just eating chicken right now. Oh, you're supposed to be on a diet. Okay. You don't. I told you, you've got to cut out all that junk food. It's not good for you. Sorry. It's good for your heart. Listen, we said, we agreed, all you need to eat now is vegetables, fruit, drink loads of water. Mum, I'm doing the... I'm doing the I'm doing the biggest. I'm doing the biggest interview of my life, Mum. Please, just. Hello. I'm also really annoyed with you because you were supposed to be going to the gym. What's happened about that? Sorry. How are you going to get nice and fit and trim, you know, and attract all the girls? All. Yeah, sorry. I've got to go. I've got to go, Mum. All right. Sorry about that. It's my my mum. I do love her, but yeah. We've actually got a gift for you. Um, one. Obviously, she's taught you how to make all of that. So now we've got for you. This is the chips that she was talking about. Nice. Extra crispy. Yeah. Right yeah, and we've also got you. Delivery. Delivery. We've got you. From Jake M. No, no, we've got you live. some potatoes as well. Oh, yeah. And we've also got you. The peas she was talking about. Nice, not bad. So, what, 10 bucks here? Yeah, that's all for you, mate. Well, how do you feel about that? Not bad. I mean, I don't really know who What's your deepest insecurity? Mm, my face looks fucking fat on camera. I have the same problem. Yeah. I guess you would know. It's tough being us, man. I think you're gorgeous. The cameraman just said he thinks... Me or you? Me or him? What about him? He's all right. I agree. It's not very nice. Anyway, it's been lovely speaking to you, Sven. How much time do we have? Well, you know, you don't have to. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to follow the rules. Is Cloud Nine going to be able to bounce back? You're Golden Guardians, yeah. Yeah. Do you think you'll be on Cloud Nine if you win? If we lose to Golden Guardians, I think Jack's going to drop a nuke on this team. Yeah. Boss, you didn't know. No, I met him in the. I saw him in the in a hotel. Did you hear the boss music? Yeah. Dark Souls. That happens when you have, when you Jack have the Destroyer. Yeah. From One Piece. It's been great speaking to you, mate. Yeah, it has. I feel like I've learned a lot about you. Yeah. I learned a lot about you guys as well. That's good. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Can we arm wrestle? Let's arm wrestle. We are at a fucking table. Yeah. Come on. Uh, let, let me let me win for the thing. Okay. Uh, good. Let's go. Smile. 
Cheese. Great. Let's Cheese, go. Mate. Let's get How the fuck you? out of here. Seriously. Oh, you, bro. I've got some stuff to do, man. Seriously. <laughs> This is not what I signed up for. We've got like a very traditional approach to interviews. This is Mike's not even on, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's on for sure, right? I would like you to keep the birthday card so you can have it. Oh, it actually, it is on. Oh, it's your birthday, you can keep this. I'm good, thanks. You don't want the birthday card? No. Seriously? Uh, I'm good. Dude, I wrote this out. I had, I had fucking. Thank you, man. See, he's yeah. just going to give that to his manager. I was nice. thinking about it. Yeah. That or a trash can. Depends what comes first, you know? What came first, the chicken or the egg? The manager. Wow, that's deep.